Council, Canadian Poets and Canada Council. She won the 2005 Ted Plantus Memorial Award, 2010 Marty Award for her poetry, and a lot of other awards. In 2011, her book, Wings Toward Sunlight, was published by Mosaic Press. Ladies and gentlemen, let's welcome Miss Anna Yin. Thank you for your wonderful introduction. I also want to want to thank for thank Ariel to invite me for this reading. Uh, a few, several years ago, I submitted my poem. When I submitted my poem for World Poetry Society event, an event tributed to the Chinese poet Li Po, and uh, they select select my poem. So t tonight I will. I'm very glad to read it here in person. And she also wants me to share the story about it. So I will read it now. Uh, it is also in my, my book, Wings Towards Sunlight. Let me see, okay. And I, I, wrote, I wrote this poem is after I read Ted Hughes, Full Moon and Little Frida. I was amazed by how differently Chinese poets describe the moon and the Western poets describe the moon. In Chinese tradition, in Chinese tradition, we associate the moon with sadness, loneliness, and most time when we uh, we are away from home, we miss home, so we look around the moon. So and we also drink wine to toast the moon. But in Ted Hughes' poem, he described the moon as a shy artist and lift up a pail of milk. A pail of milk. And the Chinese poems always use wine, like the clear water and the clear wine. So it's so different. And so I'm so amazed by these images. So I blended these two culture and image into my poem. So now I will read it here. After reading, Ted, after reading Ted Hughes, Full Moon and Little Frida, I fall in love with you, Moon, seeing you step back like a timid artist, listening to the night, you come out, a pale lifted. Moon, they're gone. They left you watching over the river how many years since, and you watch the small village becoming a flow, floating island among rows of windows. The night flows, and I'm wide awake. How much? I want to emulate Li Po, dancing with his white sleeves, a humming from his burning heart, night after night, inviting you for a drink. The wine never drained, yet he drowned in the silver river. Moon, lift your bucket. Come out once more. I won't make a, I won't make a sound. So you see how differently we can see the, the same moon, use different meanings and uh, images. Here I also want to thank uh, Jasmine for the great dance. Thank you very much. I was inspired by my son when he was a 80 years old, he asked us for pets. But we are so busy, we cannot. So we bought him instead fish. He was disappointed. Of course, fish is not pet. So I feel sorry for my son and also for, my, for the pets, for the fish. <laughs> and, but looking at the high price, looking at the people living in empty house, we are all isolated. I think we are fish. So I wrote this poem. Fish in a house. You named me once, then forgot. What's the point, naming a fish? You dutifully feed me. I should thank you, I guess. No matter how cold the water. Now and then, 
I worry. I outlive you. This house is another what tank. You don't have any gills. When night comes, you dream, and I dream too. There, you teach me how to swim, how to live empty. So as you see, I, <laughs> I read this poem for this year, the poetry, uh, national poetry event, month event. I want to inspire the people to open yourself and go out to get connected. In fact, poetry connected me to World Poetry Society and connected me to many poets. For example, for poetry, Anita and I would like to give you the certificate. Oh, thank you. And to welcome you to our World Poetry. And this is um, a poem, uh, the poems of Lu Ying. Oh. And uh, when we had Li Bai in 2010, mm -hmm. uh, Anna was the, a, a winner of all the gift poems. Every year we do gift poems. Mm -hmm. And uh, her poem was, I think we had 150, no, 200 gift poems that were given out. Mm -hmm. And about three months later, and this lady called up and she said, you don't know me. But she said, I'd like to thank the lady that did the poem. Because she said that I was in a very dark space. I was having a lot of trouble. And I just felt almost like committing suicide. But in the corner of the library, I saw this poem rolled up with a ribbon on it. She hadn't, she hadn't opened it. And she said it was like I was calling to her. And she went over and got it, and she said that what she needed to get better was in the poem. So I wanted to thank you for that. And uh, this year we did, with two events, I think we did about 350 gift poems. Um, a lot of them went at UBC because they were at the library, and people just came and helped themselves. Mm -hmm. But that was the most dramatic story yes. of the poems. There have been other ones, but that was. And when she found out you were coming, she said, well, I can't come. I live on Vancouver Island. But please tell Anna thank you. Her poem made a difference to me. Great. I'm glad. I also, I also want to mention this for, for you because the poetry saved me. So I did another poetry presentation. I also used Poetry Alive as title. And also from my website, I have a logo also put the poetry alive because it's just making me feel alive again. So thank you. Mm -hmm. so